All right, JP Chi with uh, Deborah Bakos. How are you? I'm great tonight, thanks. It's been a great day. We've had lots of music, lots of energy, so I'm really happy, but tired. <laughs> I'm actually kind of a late bloomer. This is my second career. I was a teacher for years, but this is really my passion. I've been doing it all along. And um, I started doing it full time about four years ago when I moved to Istanbul. I had the opportunity to exhibit there. So I've been exhibiting maybe, this is my fifth year, two years overseas, and this is my first crawl. So my first culture crawl experience, and it's awesome. Yeah. So why Istanbul? What uh, what took you there? Um, my husband's job took us there, fortunately for us. So and I got to paint there. I get to explore the city. I wasn't teaching, so I had lots of time. And there's a great um, artist group there, uh, international women's art group. So we exhibited all over the city, painted together, learned from Turkish artists. It was an amazing experience, and it just it just came it kept me going when I came back. Yeah. So at what point did you decide you're gonna commit to being an artist? What like? Was there a, a seminal point in your life? Or? Uh, I think I've done it all along. I started in fine art school and fashion design um, after high school and switched to a teaching group for practical reasons. But ne then I went back to Emily Carr when my kids were old enough. And so I did my program there and um, finished that three years ago and have been painting full time since then, basically. So you're a career artist now, you've kind of full in. Yes, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a tough day. It's you have to be very self-motivated, and um, you know. But there's ideas everywhere. It's all around you. That's a nice thing. It's it's. I, I don't really find that I have difficulty finding things to paint or ideas to work with. So, uh, yeah, it's my career. It's every day. It's all around me. So, someone who's uh, this closet artist that was really an artist before, what uh, what would you say to them or advice? Because uh, you know, it's not an easy path. Uh, it's especially in Vancouver, being an artist is, uh, it's, you know, it's not the most economically profitable venture. Okay, well, get someone who will support you <laughs> to start. But I think you just have to, re like, if you're authentic about your art and you really want to do it, it shows and your work um, expresses that. And then it's valuable to other people, too, as well as you. So I would just say, just, I mean, I'm the happiest I've been in my life because of it. I'm pursuing what I really want. And all those things um, that I've done in my past have helped with my ideas. They're part of who I am, so it comes out of my art, hopefully. Yeah.